Hey, Stan, the Urban Survivors Man here. Um, trying to dispel a myth. We're gonna put some of the experiments together. Everyone's seen a basic sheath knife. And they've always seen this little dip in it or a line or a groove in it called the blood groove or the fuller. Now, knife smiths say that the fuller is made uh, to make the blade more rigid. That is correct. It is also used to make the blade lighter. Um, really, when you think about that, that's only like a gram per knife. And some believe that, that you put that groove in there as a blood groove. So that when you stick it into some fleshy object, as you pull it out, that blood groove allows air to get in there and so that the knife comes out easier. Uh, many knife smiths say, oh, that's a myth. The blood groove is a myth. So I'm just going to put this to a, an experiment here in the kitchen to see if it is a myth or not. So what I've done here is I've taken uh, two paint sticks and I've shaped them the same and I put one uh, blood groove or fuller into it and the other one not. So we're going to go into the kitchen and I've got two little uh, containers of uh, ballistic gel. We're going to stick it in there, hook up a scale and pull and see how much resistance uh, each one has. Uh, see if the fuller uh, makes a difference as far as resistance and pulling out of the ballistic gel uh, as compared to the knife without the uh, um, uh, fuller in it. So let's go into the kitchen and try our little experiment. All right, so for the experiment, we've got two wooden knives. I made them identical. And I also, I put uh, one has a blood, gr blood groove in it or a, uh, ferrule here and one does not. We have our ballistic gels and we have a scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick it into the ballistic gel, pull up on the knife and see if the, um, if the, uh, the resistance of the uh, knife is, is different. Okay. So first we're going to hook the uh, knife without the blood groove into the ballistic gel. It's like rubber. Okay, we push it all the way down to the bottom, and we hook on this, and we'll slowly start to pull up and see how much weight resistance we get. One ounce, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to take the, uh, the knife with the blood groove or the puller in it and see if it makes a difference in the ballistic gel. So we stick it in there. Okay, and now we'll pull it out. There we go. Okay, two ounces, three ounces, four, four ounces. Hmm. Huge difference. That one was 11, this one's 4. Let's stab it in there again. Told you it would be a lighter difference. And we got almost 7 that time. Okay, so here's some of the physics behind it. If you have some water, and a large object like a boulder or a cannonball enters into the water, it creates a pressure wave in front of it and then a vacuum behind it. So the water then slams in here, slams in behind it, this vacuum, because when there's a vacuum, it's, something's going to fill it, slams in here and that's what creates that splash. Well now with a knife, same principles with a knife, as a knife penetrates an object, it's not like a cannonball, but there still is a pressure wave in front of it. And then there's pressure on the sides of it. Everything's pushing in as it pushes in. Now when you pull it out, there's a vacuum created. So as the knife comes out, there's a cavity in the body or whatever you punctured with the knife. So as the knife goes out, there's a cavity. And of course, this cavity is going to be filled up with stuff as stuff is pushing in. So the theory is what the blood groove does 
there's a blood groove there. It can let air into this cavity. So as you're pulling out, air can go in and it makes the resistance less. So that's what's happening. However, once again, the effects are slight. As we saw in the knives in the ballistic gel, we had a difference of only about seven ounces of pressure. So when you're stabbing something, seven ounces isn't a whole lot, but it does make a slight difference. So do blood grooves work? Yes, they do. Is it making much of a difference? Not much. The fuller, or the blood groove, also does reduce weight in the blade, but not much. You're talking about half a gram of material in a fairly large knife. That's not a whole lot of reduction in weight. It does, however, make the blade more rigid. So out of those three factors of a blood groove, the strengthening of the blade is most important. However, people who say that the blood groove does not work, that's false. It does a little bit. This is Stan with Urban Survivors. See you later.